Good evening, I'm Jill Valley. And I'm Dennis Bragg. A former Florence doctor is heading to prison, sentenced after a unanimous jury verdict, finding him guilty this fall of nearly two dozen felonies, including two counts of negligent homicide. However, he won't be going to prison unless the Montana Supreme Court affirms his conviction, even after Judge Jeffrey Langton found Dr. Chris Christensen was careless to the extreme with some patients. MTN's Augusta McDonald was in the courtroom this morning with the story. Even though Christensen was sentenced for the 22 felony counts he was found guilty of this fall, it doesn't mean that he's headed to prison right away. The former doctor receives 20 years in prison with 10 of those suspended, but he will remain free on a $200,000 bond until the appeal process is over. Judge Jeffrey Langton, who has been presiding over this case since Christensen first went under investigation for overprescribing opioids in 2014, said that he did not think the former doctor was a flight risk or an immediate threat to the community. Just before handing down the sentence, the judge said he was reluctant to put Christensen with other inmates that you might find in a prison setting. I'm reluctant to put the defendant in a prison setting with the types of people that are there. On the other hand, that's really the only tool in my <laughs> Although 69-year-old Christensen did not make a statement, his attorney responded to some of the things he did say on record during the pre-sentencing investigation process, showing that he had no remorse for his actions and would, quote, do it all over again. But I will say on his behalf that I know he is deeply regretful for the deaths. I have talked to him about it. He's deeply regretful for bad outcomes for all of his patients. That's the way he is. One can be regretful and wish for alternative outcomes without saying that one is the cause of death. We, of course, contend that he's not the cause of death. Judge Langton acknowledged that Christensen had a history of prescribing extremely shocking levels of opiates. But the judge said he took into account the supportive statements of more than 50 people who spoke up on Christensen's behalf. Augusta McDonald, MTN News, Hamilton. The appeals process could last close to a year. The judge said that because of so many novel applications of the law occurred in this case, he expects the high court to give the proceedings a thorough review. In the meantime, Christensen is not allowed to practice medicine. His attorney asked that the $26,000 in court costs be waived because Christensen is close to a million dollars in debt.